Okay, hello everybody to Artist Live. It's Riikka Kovasin here today and we're making something like this. Altered CDs. First I was going to make this one, but I was worried that I'll finish way on time, so then I didn't decided to make another one. There are similar things in those, but also something different. Hi Karen! Hi Janusz, hi Terhi. Okay, let me just move these a bit to the side and let's continue or actually start with the CDs. And as these are red, I picked up some different kind of colors. Actually, my husband suggested purple, so there's purple and green. I wonder what that combination is going to look like, but Let's give it a try. So, the first thing is to do the background with alcohol inks. Something that I did during the last show as well, but it goes so that whenever I actually find, hi Jasmine, a product, like I have a stash of different kinds of mixed media products, and when I find something like I've been using it like years ago and then I fell, fall in love with that all over again and then there's a couple of projects I'm doing with that so the first thing I just put the alcohol inks to the felt and now I'm adding them to the CD with the applicator tool and before it's all dried out I'm actually putting some water to it alcohol ink doesn't mix with water but it actually gives some effect to it kind of a blodgy look so it changes to look a bit actually this is kind of a funny looking color combination let's add a bit more to there maybe something like this really fast and then the other one more ink bit more that one and maybe that let's make this a more, more purple just going through the whole thing these are actually like brand new CDs but we could use the same technique with anything that it has a glossy or non-porous surface even cassettes or discs Then wiping the excess off. Here we go. It dulls down the colors a bit, and as you can see here, it makes them more subtle and a bit blod blodgy. Is that a word? I hope that is. Just a few more details like that. So here we go. The other one is really purple, and the other one is more like the green shades. Let's, sorry for this. I'm just adding the caps on because otherwise if I happen to drop them there's not alcohol ink everywhere. Although these are quite good, these bottles. They don't spill that easily. Because I'm a messy crafter so that's always a plus. So let's do this one first. We're using the same stencil in both of these, as you can see, but with different mediums. And 
for this one it's modeling paste and it's just modeling paste straight from the jar but as it dries it picks up the color from the alcohol inks and it's a bit tinted after that hi Lydia so just applying the paste here and there and make it a bit more there to get the caps like that let me move it a bit to the side and then clean the table a little for a little while. I can add first the washi tape. You can see that much of the washi tape here underneath all the layers, but it's there. It's partly because of the hole in the CD and partly to bring that extra bling. Of course, you can actually continue the lines, but I'm doing this like every second one, like that. And then just, whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, let's just add them on there again. A bit crooked, but that's okay. There we go. Of course, you can let the modeling paste dry first and then just add the washi tape. Like that. And then, where did I put it here? This is the centerpiece with the resin face from the flower package. Uh, actually, I think I have not made, well, there's one project with the whole flowers, but I love the faces of the flowers, so I usually just tear them apart. And use the, just a face. And the center, or like making the color, is made with a mold, Prima mold. And I used hot glue with it. It's really easy using hot glue because you don't have to wait overnight, for example, for it to dry. But then you just need to remember it's hot glue. So if you bring out your heat tool, just be careful because otherwise you'll end up melting the shape and then you have a big blob on your project and that's not nice. So that goes there. And face on top, and then the flowers. But I'm thinking it's easier for me to actually paint this one first and then add it to the CD. So it's that purple one. Let's use the purple. Well, these two colors. So I'm using dark velvet and ancient coin from the. Prima or Finabar acrylic paints, if I can get them open. Let's try the other one. Yes. Yay, this one I managed. Let's start with that one. My lovely assistant just opened the other one. So that is my husband. <laughs> so.
if you want to use something like watercolors with these kinds of flowers or the shapes you have made with hot glue then just add a layer of gesso first because this is not a porous surface so something like acrylic paint works wonders because it sticks to that surface but even mists would just be flowing away it's kind of dark it should be purple but that's quite quite dark here's more of the gold one here because this should be the delicate and sweet project not the grungy one just really quickly painting and the fun thing with the acrylic paints altogether is that they dry so fast so you won't even use need to use the heat tool with these and thus prevent of the shape melting this one goes here the face on top I can just close these for a while because we need them for the other CD as well but I'm just being careful not to tip them there we go and then let's think about the flowers I actually chose a set of flowers because there's more than just one of those in the set so I'm able to use the same flowers even though I only have one package so the end result is going to be similar and for gluing I'm using mad gel you could also use the glossed one I think I put the link for the gloss one but it doesn't matter it's it's the same stuff if you're using this for a resist effect then I would recommend the glossy one because it resists better than a matte one but if you're just using it as an adhesive it's really both go maybe I'll just add these in now it's looking really funny with just these two flowers sticking here but let's add the centerpiece and then work around it here we go okay now she has some color on her head as well like so okay hi there there's more viewers glad you could join in just ask if you have any questions there's Terhi and Karen and Yasmin all who can help and I can also if I see the chat I'm usually just doing the project but I'm trying to actually see if there's any questions let's have these here is there enough maybe I'll just add a little more onto this back as well so they don't fall off here we go and there and then the tiny ones as well the fun thing with the flower packages, like a set of different ones, that there's bigger ones and smaller ones, so it's easier to make a cluster because there's different size, different size of flowers. Does any other manufacturer have molds? Yes, there's plenty of different manufacturers for molds. You could even use the ones that are for like cake decorating but of course you can't use them after that with cake decorating things but 
but there is wool, like the embossing powder here, the mold, and yeah, melt art, there's plenty of different ones. And you could easily use something from a dollar store, I'm thinking. They also have some kind of, or even like, um, Ikea has these ice cube style molds, at least hearts, because we own that kind of set. So you could use that one as well. With air drying clay or then hot glue. Because hot glue is really easy, you just squeeze it in and then let it dry and you have the shape. So here we go. Just the two things left with this one. So I'm pretty sure that you like that I actually I'm doing two projects because the first one is almost done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too fast. So the finishing touches are with wire thread. Martha Stewart, yes, Martha Stewart also has some silicone molds. The silicone molds work best because it's easier to take the actual um, mold, molded things, the embellishments out of them and you can use a variety of different materials so of course there's more molds there's even something that are harder like clay type of molds hi Joanne so let me just show you these two side by side again because this should be the feminine and the soft one and this is supposed to be a bit more grungier so i also wanted to add the thread in a feminine and soft kind of way so i made these swirls and they're just made by this like twirling the wire to something circular like a paintbrush um, let's make another one. It's like a spring. But these kind of circular shapes are, at least to me, feminine. And the uh, rigid or harder edges are more masculine. And the size of the paint brush or whatever you're using to make the swirl well, of course affects the size of the spring-like thing and it's good to add three or five or like an even number let me just tuck these in Oops. Okay. one there Pink down there. And if you're doing them tight, they're like this, but then you can also open them a bit to make them longer. Yeah, wire thread is also one of my favorites, and especially the two colors I'm using today white and black. Because the white has this kind of fabric coating, so you can color it. So if you want uh, like purple or pink you just add mist or watercolor to it and you have the correct color and black is always good of course you can dye the white one to black as well but just the two non colors that go with everything like that. Now it has the shapes floating. And as you can see, there's just one more detail, which is splashes. 
So if you were wondering where do the gessos go, which were on the list of materials, they are just bubble splashes. Hi Helen! Oh Scotland! I'd love to go to Scotland someday. That has been my dream for 10 years or maybe even more. Maybe someday. So just adding a bit of water to the gesso so it will be easier to get it off the brush. A bit more still. Come on. Let's try the flat one. If you want to do these kinds of splashes, you need like a thicker paint. But if you want more like the splodgy ones or just dots, then a bit thinner. Just white splashes here and there. like that. And as you can see from the finished project after drying, not only the gel or the modeling paste will absorb the uh, ink color, alcohol ink color, but also the gesso. So it doesn't look this harsh with the white anymore after drying, but it's a bit more subtle the look. Now that the flower is so dark, maybe I'll just add a few touches of the something purple to these ones. I'm thinking I'm bringing in watercolor. Sorry, now I'm just inventing as I go along because with the original one it's kind of softer palette or those flowers go in there better. But I'm thinking I'm needing some purple touches to the flowers. Just a teeny tiny touch of watercolor. I'm really watering it down so it won't be a big bl blob of color. But as it's watered down, it floats and dyes the whole flower almost in one go. There we go, just a few more touches here and there. And after drying, it will be kind of subtle purple, but everything will match. Of course, you can use diluted acrylic paints as well. But the color I picked for here is just too dark for the flowery sweet effect I was looking after this. So here we go. First one done. Let me just move these aside. And let's do the other one. The grungy one. So as you can see there's the similar pattern and as in the first one. So the same stencil, but with a different medium. And this is acrylic paint. Let's use this color, for example. Magnets behind. Oh, that's a great idea, Karen. You could make these into like huge magnets. Yeah, I was actually wondering what I'll do the, uh, with these afterwards. I was thinking maybe putting them uh, on the flip side, like the reverse side of a canvas. But that's a good idea. Adding magnet to it and then getting it to the fridge. <laughs> because there's my crafts all over the house anyway. Kitchen is the last sword. Maybe my husband won't like it because there's my pieces everywhere. 
Luckily, his guitars fill in the bedroom, so he's making guitars, so that's somewhat even. So I'm just using the paint and the silicone brush to add some pattern and as the paint is quite quite fluid the pattern isn't that like sharp there's no sharp sharp edges with the pattern and that's okay with me but if you want to use the acrylic paint and really get sharp edges there's a couple of ways to do it you can either mix in the 3D gel or gel medium or then there's the texture powder that that also dulls the color a bit because it's this powder that makes texture and it turns the shimmer on the acrylic paint to more like concrete one There we go. And then where did I put the tape? Here. It's the same tape as in the first one. Just covering the hole. Of course, you could use patterned paper as well. But the tape is really easy because it has its own adhesive already. So just layering two strips of tape. Again, you could dry the CD or the heat tool or wait but if I'm being really really careful I can add it already and we can continue nope that's not the right lid that's the right lid for the white chisel because we don't need that one anymore but what we do need is black wire thread so this should be rigid and harsh, grungy, manly. I'm using the black thread instead of the white one and just making kind of a zigzag pattern with it. A bit longer than the CD so it will come a bit off the edges. Here we go. And the fun thing is that I can do, for example, this kind of shape now, and especially after drying, then I can move thing, things around and really get it the way I want. Today, because everything is moving, it's harder. But after the gel medium, which we're going to use as an adhesive, it's easier to just manipulate it with thread. And then there's the bottle cap. These are really awesome. They're so kind of basic shapes, but you can use it with almost everything. <laughs> yeah, Joanne, actually, I noticed that the card was upside down, but it just was so lovely because I. Uh, that made me think that you were thrill thrilled and wanted to capture the you with the card immediately. So it was really sweet. Thank you for the photo. Should I do this exactly the same or vice versa? What do you think? Maybe if I flip this around also. Because there seems to be a natural point here. Oops. Come on, stay there for a second. Well, that'll do. Let's do this first because it's this one needs the drying time. So for this kind of element, let me just show it to you a bit better. Here. There's okay, come on. Let's focus. Yes. There's an like this art stone or art pebble 
put on top of a book, old book page. So just some clear drying adhesive. For this I'm using tacky glue because it dries faster than the gel steel. Yes, let's go with that one. And then I'm turning it, pre pressing it down and turning so that the adhesive is all around the pebble. Maybe I'll just leave it for a while to dry. And let's construct this one. And a piece of this one as well. Okay, now it's not focused. Let's focus here. Come on. Let's focus here. Then let's focus here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get it focusing on my hand. Come on. Good morning, Elaine. It's awesome to see you here. Come on. We're just having a bit of a problem here with the focusing part. Come on. Maybe something bigger? There should be like auto focus, but come on. It won't focus. Well, maybe if we just give it time. Come on. It's here. Hello. Okay. Well, maybe it will eventually get the hang of it. That it should be focusing here. And not to the close anymore. So what I just did is took a piece of scrap FX wire chip board and then let's use this medium quite heavily because there's quite a lot of 3D going on so it needs support. That one and that one. And then the resin face. Here we go. We can actually add here this one as well, the other bottle cap. Where the magazine embellishment will come. Just a bit more pressure. Please stay, stay there for a while. Then I only actually had one of the butterflies left, so I needed to cut it apart. So the other wing is here, and the other one goes to this project. Just a bit of the gel, and then adhering it here. And the lamp. I really like these lamps because these are like easy to glue because they have the flat back and still they look like lamps. Let me get this away. So if you have the gel like blobs coming underneath the shape you just adhere, just use a wet brush. Or better still, let it dry for just a few minutes and then clean because then the edge has already like started to dry and it's easier to remove just a thing that is coming through and not to move the whole thing. And then let's add the final metal piece and then we need to add a few touches of color there we go. like that hmm, 
maybe that one, the same. Black screen, okay, is there more black screens? Because if there is, I'm just going to wait for a while and try to get this thing focusing. Finally, yes, it focused. It froze, okay. I'm just waiting for you to, guys, if there's more like frozen screens. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully you just can refresh and it will go away. So I'm just adding the paint to the chipboard using the same color as I used to do the stenciling. The fun part with the chipboard is that it absorbs the moisture, so it dries really quickly. Maybe just a few touches of the same color to the metals. I'm thinking I'm using the dark, oops, I don't want that green color to the doll's hair. Okay. Dark purple one in this piece because to the darker and grungier piece it will fit more than the cheap uh, sweet one. Okay, you are coming back. Great. Yeah, these paints are awesome. I really love the way they shine because it's not really, really, really high shine. Like sometimes the, well, I'm not sure if there can be too much bling, but sometimes it's just too much. But these have just the right amount, at least for me. in it down because it went too dark. Okay, now she has a purple beard. It's killing her like so. I'll use just a rigid brush. Hi, big kiss. Touch there. Just go. And there. And just there. Yes. And now, as you can see, this has started to dry, so it's easier to cut this one. And purple beard. Now that would be like different. Bearded lady. That would be a grungy project. Just cutting it from there and then using the gel to adhere it to the bottle cap. Yep. Here we go. Almost done with this one as well. And again, we are out of focus. It's good to use the Little jars to focus. Okay, now it doesn't work. Last time it worked. Hello, it's coming from to here. Hello. <laughs> ah, brighter. We're almost done. Just as you can see, the splashes. So it's the black gesso hopping from the side. And 
I bet I need to clean the little doll face again because I don't want any black splashes on her. Let's see. Okay, now I'm all colored, which to me means that I'm having a great time. Luckily I have to tomorrow off, so there won't be any surprised looking customers with my colored hands. Just a few words in Finnish, sorry. Joo, pikkis nauhoitus. Ainakin pitäis, se näyttää siltä, että se nauhoittaa, niin tulee sitten YouTubeen, kunhan saadaan ladattua. Okay, now you can see. Splashes to the doll's face. Which wasn't my idea, but I'm getting them off soon. Okay, there's splashes going there, but not to my project. Come on. There. Okay, better. And then let's clean the clean the poor doll. Those splashes are like on top of the book base embellishment. But just that one. Now she has a black tear. Okay, better. So, here we go. We are done. Just two quick, quick projects using if you have like extra CDs. There's still use for CDs, but come on. I guess most of us use like streaming kind of things for the music. So there might be just a few old ones lying around. So let me just show you all the projects together. Let's move this away so there's room for all four. I can move these a bit down. I'm just checking that you can still see them so I don't put them off camera. So the original ones are on the left and no made projects are on the right. So as we still have a lot of time, let me say who's on next week because there he will be on. I'm so happy she's guesting and she's doing a wonderful Terhi layout. So don't miss the show next Monday. And keep an eye on the Facebook because there, that's the place where we announce all the new shows. And like, thank you for coming. Let me try to do the heart here. Well, this way. Thank you for coming. It was wonderful to see you here. And I'll post pictures of the new ones dried. Uh, during the week to my own blog, so hopefully come by and see what they li are like after drying and Hope to see you next Monday Yeah, there he layout <laughs> Come on you have a specific style so everybody knows Okay, I'm just waving bye for now and stop recording